Tone is the emotion or feeling associated with a passage, sentence, or word. It's created through the author's choice of words, and especially in the adjectives and adverbs they use to describe things. We're going to look at a few examples. We'll start with a sentence that has a neutral tone. The king led his procession into the throne room. Now, we're going to see how some adjectives and adverbs can change that tone significantly. The next sentence reads, The arrogant king haughtily led his grandiose procession into the decadent throne room. I've highlighted important tone words here, arrogant, haughtily, grandiose, and decadent, which give a negative, over-the-top connotation to this sentence. Similarly, we could change the tone by inserting different tone words. This sentence reads, the dignified king solemnly led his illustrious procession into the commanding throne room. Just by switching around the adjectives and adverbs, we've changed the tone of the sentence to a much more solemn and dignified tone. An author can create tone on the level of an entire passage, a single paragraph, or even just one statement or word. We'll look at examples of all three. Here we see an entire passage. We'll read through it once and then talk about the tone that's created. This is a critical time to reflect on our duty to protect the vast natural resources of this country. We cannot help but feel afraid of the damage that unsustainable resource extraction could wreak upon federal lands. Even now, the greedy and malicious see in federal lands an opportunity to fatten their pockets. Allowing these barons to run rampant will all but assure the destruction of irreplaceable national treasures. Now, a few words have been highlighted that particularly lend tone to this entire passage. Phrases like critical time, words like duty, afraid, damage, and irreplaceable, all give this passage a sense of urgency and of warning, so the tone of this passage carries both of those connotations. Let's focus in just on the second paragraph. Words like greedy, malicious, fatten, barons, and destruction give this paragraph an especially negative and critical tone. Finally, let's focus in on just a single word. The word barons. Traditionally, a baron is a despot or a king who has unlimited power and abuses it. So even in one word, the author has indicated that the people he's talking about, those who would exploit federal lands, are abusing their power and very selfish. Therefore, barons has a strongly negative tone.